Hi everyone, I'm Cinder and I'm welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. So, again, recording strip. Thanks, Final Fantasy IV. I blame you. Love this game. It has not been nice to me when it comes to recording. So, although I do have a save further back, not far back enough from uh, this cutscene, which I typically make sure of, but I accidentally saved one too many times. So, uh, where we are on map is Agard. As you can see, it's just west of Mesidia. You go inside here, and this is where Anne now now it wants to uh, frame rate drop. Great. As well as it seems for all the world to have no bro no bottom. The uh, item list will pop up. You drop the magma stone in there. You get this uh, funny cutscene where Sid drops the stone in the well, which is different than the other games, by the way. Uh, in this version, he does that. In the other versions, you would just drop the magma key slash magma stone in, and then that would be it. Uh, you see the uh, mountain explode. In this version, you actually see like, magma just shoot out from it. And then you get this uh, chasm here. Go aside, and the Enterprise will begin moving on its own. Those are... The Red Wings. It seems we weren't fast enough. But who are they fighting? Hold on tight, we gotta break through this line. That's a good question, Cecil. Come on, Enterprise. I know you're hurting. Just hold on a bit longer for me, girl. Uh-oh. We're falling! Cecil? Rosa. Huh? Is everybody alright? Everyone but my poor ship. We won't be able to fly her anymore. Not like this. Then I suppose we go by foot from here. Now you can't see it on the map, which is really annoying. Such heat! We must find some place cool to take shelter. That didn't work like I wanted to. In the old version, if you cast sight, you could uh, zoom out and see where you're supposed to go. Now, full disclosure, in the uh, not recorded episode, I actually went north, which is not the way to go, and I spent like ten minutes of the episode looking around. Yay! Screw ups! Why do I tell you this? Because I like being honest. That's um, my promise to you as a Let's Player. I'm going to be honest about when I screw up. So, there's that. Uh, but where you want to go is right here, this castle. Another thing you want to do is... Put aim. You really don't need attack for Rosa, to be to be honest. Uh, aim is better. It just takes a little longer time, but then it gives her a 100% chance to hit the target. So why not use it over attack? It's it's superior to attack, so you might as well. Um, and that'll do it.
Dwarven Castle. Lally Ho! This is the castle of the dwarfs. King Gaia rules our halls. So, yeah, dwarfs. Gomez is a dirty, vile human. But I do not think you are dirty, vile humans. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Hi. Hello, my name is Luca. I've lost my dolls. Have you seen them? Uh, no, I haven't. In. Welcome. In this shop, you have some attack items. Ball fragments, Zeus's Wrath, uh, Antarctic Winds, uh, Bestiary, which casts Libra. It might be a good idea to pick a few of these up. You don't need to. Because both Cecil and Rosa can both cast, uh, can both cast the Libra spell, but it's there. Uh, Gnomish Bread, which casts Sight, and Emergency Exit. I will pick up Emergency Exit just in case. Welcome! In here you have potions. High potions. Phoenix down. Uh, grab quite a few Phoenix downs. That's my warning. You have uh, cottages here as well. Which fully restore the HP and PSS of the entire party. They're a uh, better tent. Of course, they're also more expensive. <laughs> Remedies are nice to have. They remove most status ailments. Uh, think of it as the Azuna spell. And Cross Witch removes the curse uh, status ailment. We'll grab a couple of those. And some Echo Orbs. Alright. And here you have the inn. So you can uh, stay and replenish HP and MP. Ugh, the frame rate drop. Oh, why it's screwing up now. <laughs> because I can't have a good recording of Final Fantasy IV today. That's why. A castle inhabited by dwarfs. It's cooler here, but who are these folks? These folks, sorry. They seem to bear us no ill will. Let us hope they are friendly. This place was built by the same craftsmen who built those tanks. Was this the castle's forces we saw engaging the Red Wings? Oh no, Kane! There is a 99.9% .9 chance. Yes, of course it is. Oh, so you did survive that crash. My pardons, your majesty. But might we ask your name? I'm Gaiot, king of the dwarves and ruler of the underworld. And the dark crystals, your majesty. They are truly down here? So, that is indeed your reason for coming. But you do not seem to be friends of the others. Leastwise, not judging from their welcome. I must apologize. We came near to shooting you out of the sky ourselves. Are the crystals safe? Would that I could say yes, but two of the four have been captured. So, Gobez beat us to the punch. We are too late then. This castle's crystal, however, remains secure. Our tank battalion was able to repel the enemy forces. Those tanks we saw battling the airships were yours then. Airships, you call them. The surface world must be home to many wonders. Our tanks have long been unmatched on the battlefield, but even they are hard-pressed to defend against assault from the air. I do not suppose you would be willing to lend that airship of yours to our defense. She was damaged when we were forced down. She will need repairs for she be able to fly again. I would be happy to provide you with any materials you might need. Then I should be able to patch her up and get her engines humming again. But she wasn't built to take the heat of all that magma. I'll need to fly her back up to the surface and see if I can't rig together some mithril plating. Best get to work. Sid! No need for Terry goodbyes. I'm only going to go make a few upgrades. You kids just wait here. I'll be back before you even start to miss me. Sid, be careful. Oh, don't you go falling in love with me too now, Rosa. And Sid left the party. So he's going to go make repairs and upgrades to the Enterprise. Your Majesty, where is this castle's crystal kept? Where it is most secure, in a hidden chamber behind my throne. 
As long as there is light left in my eyes, our crystal is safe. Huh. What is it, Yang? Someone is eavesdropping. What? Huh? But there's no one here but us. I felt a presence behind that wall. Open the door! Yes, Lolly! The door has been barred shut. Yippo ho! What are those? Dolls? We are Calcabrina. Adorable dolls. Terrible dolls. You are mindless cretins. Charging into unknown halls. We'll cut your strings. Lord Gobes will be pleased. Yippo ho! Boss battle. Brina and uh, Calca. There's a trick to this fight, but I'm not using it. I didn't use it last time either. Uh, you'll want to throw up protect. And just begin attacking away. The ones in the back have more... Have uh, more HP than the ones in front. Counterattack. As you can see, Cecil can one-shot the ones in front, not the ones in back. Now, Kane's still in the back row. Once you get rid of one type of doll, and you get a little bit of you get a little bit of time depending on how it works out. I said once you defeat one type of doll. <laughs> wow, it's been the best time to actually show off that. Uh, there we go. Dolls are joining together as one. Once one type of doll is is destroyed, this happens. Boss battle! Calcabrina! The dolls will form together into this monstrosity of a boss. You can actually avoid this boss. You saw how it could have happened. I could have killed the other doll and then this, this wouldn't have happened. It's a, uh, if you, if you just have to time it right and get rid of the, uh, last doll of each quickly. You could do that, then there you go. Wow, Kane! Don't miss! Now, this boss has a few nasty tricks. Uh, it has hold, as you can see. There you go. Charge up with Yang and attack. Uh, have Cecil cover Rosa, because Calcabrina has a huge amount of attack power. As you're about to see! Block. And I'll counterattack you. Calgabrina knows counterattack and hits really hard. Make sure you have protect up. And you want Yank to focus. That way you get the most out of hits. Jump is good for Kane to do because one, he can stay in the back row, where he probably is. Uh confuse is bad. I need to get rid of that. <laughs> uh Hey, Cecil, you know we do not yet. That's bad. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Not. <laughs> Says a why. <laughs> So that can happen! <laughs> High potion! Protect, and that's three, so swing. Calgabrinia, because she hits so hard, you want to make the most of your attacks. So a good way to do that is via focus. Or with uh, Kane using jump, since he won't take too much from the counterattack. He's in the back row after all. High potion. And this is how this fight's gonna go. If you just start swinging, you're gonna get overwhelmed by the counterattack. So play smart. Focus. Darn confusion again. No, I'm not having this happen again. Remedy! So while expensive, Remedy is uh, useful here. Also, if Rose is not the one that gets... Uh, that gets confused, you can always just have her cast Asuna. Other characters should just be on standby, as you've seen what I've done. You just kind of wait. And that's that. Calgabrinia has quite a bit of HP, but after a while, uh, she'll go down. Just be careful. A lot of attack power. No money, but a lot of EXP. Gain levels up. Cecil levels up. Now he knows Azuna. That would have been useful. Rosa levels up, and Yang levels up. They beat us. We're through. But now he knows where the crystal is. He'll be here soon to take revenge. Lord Golbez. What? Or pass cross once again. Golbaz. I believe we have a score to settle. It is terribly unfortunate that you lack the boon of Meteor this time around. But first, allow me to tell you my purpose in gathering the crystals. Consider it a prize for your small victory before. There are eight crystals in total. Those of light and darkness combined. Together, they form the key to reactivating the Tower of Babu, and thereby the gate to the moon. The moon is said to conceal power that transcends the limits of human comprehension. This crystal is the seventh. Only a single one remains to be taken, and the way will be opened. Much of this, of course, was only possible because of you. It would not do to let such aid go unrewarded. Take this, my final gift to you! Boss battle, Gobez! Just throw everything you have at him. Hit, 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 and shell. Hit. Continue to attack. Pray. <laughs> that is all the power you possess. Binding cold. Cut. And that paralyzes the entire party. Your eyes should still be free. 
open and gaze upon true terror. Come forth, my creature of shadow. Oh look, Gobez knows how to summon. He summons a shadow dragon. Which uses Black Fang. Death. That's bad. Black Fang. Death. That's bad. Black Fang. Death. Really bad. Farewell, Cecil. Radiant Breath. Nadolin. My shadow dragon, slain by mere mist. It's all right. You can move now. That voice. Barrier shift. Look who's back, everybody. Boss battle. Golbez with Radia back in the party. Bio! Gobes will now begin casting big spells. Well, big ish spells. To hurt the party. Uh, Bio being one of the uh, nastiest ones he can he can throw out there. Uh, priority one is to get Rosa back on her feet. <laughs> that way she can help uh, cure the party. Uh, step two will be getting shell on the party. That way you don't take as much damage from from spells. I did that in the wrong order. You want to get a uh, phoenix down up, and then have somebody immediately cure shell. He's out because uh, his spells multi-target, and so Yang will probably fall back down. Like so. So you do it this way. And we have Cecil, Phoenix down here, and then we cast Kira on the entire board. Like so, because items are faster to use. Ah! You were just fast enough. Is also why using an item like a high potion works really well. Works really well because items are almost instant. Like so. The hardest part of this fight is honestly one, knowing the gimmick, and two, getting everybody back on their feet. <laughs> Especially after Bio. Bio really makes this fight fight tough. If you're lucky, he won't even cast it. Good, everybody's back. Now, the trick to this fight is you can actually Libra Golbez. Golbez. Uh, everybody else is going to be on healing duty. Libra! Yes, you actually analyze the target. This will show what Golbez is weak to. As you see, he's weak to fire right now. This changes. That's what the barrier shift is. Kira? Bio again. Ah! <laughs> that happened last episode too. It's it happened the the summon happens right when I'm selecting a command, so I can so I accidentally cancel uh, cancel out of the animation. We'll see it eventually. Don't worry. Then he's going to barrier shift again. No big deal. Just find out what his new weak point is. Once you know that about this fight, uh, it's easy. If you don't know this about the about the fight, what you're going to end up doing is just fighting Gobez normally. Just swing with your characters. Don't worry, you can do that too. Uh, you're weak to light. Now, 
and then you'll just swing until he goes down. Drain. The other bad thing that Golbez could do is he can drain HP. Judgment Bolt. I love the, the, the way they did Rama uh, in this one. So awesome. This, this cannot be! Yes it can, bye! But look who's back! The awesome summoner is back at our party, but she looks completely different, doesn't she? And 8,000 EXP. Rose's level increases. Good. She, she could use it. We... We did it! We defeated him! Rodia! You saved our lives! But... What's happened to you? When we were attacked... Leviathan swallowed me and carried me to the land of the Eidolans. And... Uh, this is Radia's name, which is awesome. Uh, another really great thing. The land of the Adolans? The Fae March. The place they called home. I lived among them and befriended them. I can't use white magic anymore, but my summoning and black magic have grown stronger. Time flows differently in the Fae March, though. So that's why you've grown so much? Who is she, Cecil? This is Radia. Excuse me. <clears throat> this is Radia of Mist. That child? This is a surprise indeed. It is! But why would you come to save us? If it weren't for us, your mother. Don't say another word! The Queen of the Adolans told me this. The wheels of a fate greater than us are all turning now. She told me we must stand against it, and we must stand together. Rodia, thank you. Rodia joined the party. I like the uh, star earrings. They're awesome. Death will not claim dominion over me. What? No! The crystal! Forgive us. Golbez escaped and with the crystal. There was little any of us could have done to stop that, it seems. But now with only one crystal, but now only one crystal remains. We must guard it with our lives. Where's the final one hidden? In the sealed cave to the southwest. Golbez left in that direction, but have no fear. The entrance is warded and cannot be breached without the proper key. And so I have a favor to ask of you. It is our fault your crystal was taken. If there is anything we can do to be of aid, we will most certainly cooperate. Golbez makes for the sealed cave. This is the opportune moment for us to turn the tables. While he is chasing after the final crystal, you can enter the Tower of Babel and reclaim the other seven. The Tower of Babel? You would have us march into the enemy's own fortress? A very risky gambit, however not one without merit. Now would be the, like you put, the op opportune moment to go and do this. Golbez isn't there. We sneak attack our way into the, into the tower, snag the crystals back, and leave. Sounds like a good plan to me. If not now, when? Yes, while our tanks create a diversion, the enemy's forces will be drawn out to fight. While they are occupied, you will have a chance to slip in and retrieve the crystals. Wait until Golbez returns, and that chance is lost. What do you think? About walking willingly into an enemy stronghold? It would be dangerous to be certain. But to risk nothing is to gain nothing. Nothing venture, nothing gained. And King Gaiot speaks true. We must act now while Gobes is away, if we are to act at all. Very well. 
We will do as you ask. Excellent. In the basement of this castle is an entrance to a tunnel that will lead you near the tower. Oh, and I'd almost forgotten. I want you to have this. Obtain draw attacks, Augment. Please go and see as you've made ready. I wish you the best of luck. Ritia, I'm so glad you survived. You've grown so much. Oh, you survived. But how could you have aged so quickly? Oh, she went over that, Yang. Were you not paying attention? Cecil has changed too. I barely recognized him. Only a single crystal remains. We must make haste. The first thing you're going to want to do is change your party up. And put Rodia in the back row. She is a caster. Not a lot of HP. However, she does come with she does come with some really good equipment. Attack 50. She uses whips now, or she can. She can still use the rod the rods as you see. Uh, but she can also use whips now. May inflict paralyzed status. Uh, and, and like I said, an attack power of 50. Now being in the back row, it's not going to hurt that much. But it's uh, still really handy for her to have. So why not? I'll keep it with her. She's the only one that can use this weapon, I believe, by the way. Uh, use use uh, whips. Golden hairpin. Defense 7, magic defense 10, and has li lightning, just like what Rosa has. She comes with one. Great. She also comes with a luminous robe. Which gives uh, 12 defense, 9 magic defense, and half lightning. And comes with a rune armlet. 5 defense and 8 magic defense. So, really good gear. Like Radia said, she can't cast white magic anymore. As you see at the bottom of the screen, it's not there. But she d is packing some more powerful black magic. Including the uh, aura level of spe spells. Blizzara, Firara, and Thundara. Also no stop bio, which had cast on us. A, a really nice spell. I like bio. Toad warp drain and quake deal devastating earth damage. So as you can see, she has upped her black magic game, as well as her summon game. She knows chocobo, which she knew before, but now she knows. Let me say, big girl summons Shiva, Ruma, and Ifrit. Uh, they're really good in this game. Unlike, you know, as the Final Fantasy series goes on, they get weaker and weaker. It's really annoying. But, for this game, they're pretty powerful. Especially if you hit an enemy's weakness. Summon uh, Shiva to attack, 30 MP. Ruma, 30 MP. And Effort, 30 MP. Ice, Lightning, and Fire. Titan, which does Earth damage. And Dragon. Summon Mist Dragon to attack, which is what we saw, Radiant Breath. It's actually more expensive in this game. In uh, previous versions, it was just called Mist. And it cost 20 MP. It was a cheap way to do decent damage to all enemies. But it didn't uh, do as much as Shiva, Rumor, or Ifrit. So it's nice. Hopefully it got a buff. I'd be really happy to see that. In that it does along with its more MP cost from 20 to 35, also do more damage. That would be nice. So there we go. There's uh, Radia's new uh, new abilities. Now. Speaking of new abilities, what was draw attacks? Imparts the draw attacks ability. Great! Um... Draw attacks. It sounds like cover. Maybe it's a better version of cover. I'll, uh... Save and use it off screen. And test it out. And then let you know how it goes. And the next episode. Because I'm going to bring this one to an end. Uh, you can... What I should do first... Because as you can see, uh, you don't get healed after the gold best fight. So you should go into the inn and rest, and then walk outside and save, because you can do that. We also have access to the castle now, as you can see. We can go down there, and we could go... Oh yeah, I didn't show that off this recording. <laughs> uh, these ways were blocked off. The upstairs there, and the downstairs here. 
and the right side of the castle was blocked off as well. There are a lot of treasure chests here in the Dwarven Castle, and it really does behoove you to go and find them all. So I'll find as many as I can, <laughs> but I'll show that off next episode. That's what we'll be doing. We'll be hunting in the castle, and then moving on. So, let me go save. And like I said, that will end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. See, here it is. <laughs> you can see that I've I already done it once. Save yes. There we go. And hopefully this time it recorded. Till the next episode. <laughs> Again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. I'll never forget the first time I saw Radia pop back into the party. I was like, she didn't die! It was really, you know, really exciting. Because characters have died in, in this game so far. So, uh, it was nice to see a character come back. Till the next episode, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.